<laughs> hey y'all, so it's Terrence K. Williams here, and I am with my brothers, the Hodge twins, Keith and Kevin. What's up, man? What's up, I'm Terrence? actually the third twin. I just yeah. don't work out. <laughs> I just don't work out. I'm small. I don't work out. I don't, I don't eat enough protein. Got a different daddy. <laughs> <laughs> he got a different daddy. Yeah, mama got around. Didn't my, daddy, <laughs> my daddy is five two. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they daddy is six six. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't take all those vitamins and yeah. shit like they do. Yeah, they take right. all those vitamins. What's going on, y'all? Yeah, same old, same old, man. Just doing our thing. Well, yeah. thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You thanks know? for having us, bro. Mm-hmm. Man, we've been knowing each other since for, for how long now? For a minute, man. Well, I, yeah, I first man. found your videos on Twitter. You was doing um, you was eating you some had chicken. A, you had some talking chicken. about Black Lives Matter. I was eating some damn <laughs> the, good the, chicken. The, the first video I saw, you was uh, doing a, a video, Rihanna. She was doing something. You put oh, hot sauce yeah, on your yeah. shoulder. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rihanna was uh, putting some type of body makeup on right. her shoulder. Right. You put hot sauce. I put hot sauce on my shoulder, baby. <laughs> right, right. And then she, was, then she had her makeup brush. Instead right. of me using a brush, I used a piece of chicken. Yeah. That chicken I ate that damn piece of chicken too after that. Yeah, day, you yeah. did. That like chicken was chicken. so damn good. How yeah. do y'all say it? Damn good. Damn say, good. Now, you know what? I love when y'all say, yeah. How you say it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I've been trying to learn that. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. come on. Don't you have to that. work on that. <laughs> <laughs> I, this shit sounds so tough. Like, yeah. Right. How you, okay, teach me here. How you do it? Yeah. Got to get deep with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is going to be a damn good podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I can't do it. I know, man. You can't do it. That's why. I, yeah, see, we could have been triplets, but I just, yeah. I just don't, I just don't make the damn cut, though, man. You just work on it, man. Just yeah. work on it a little bit every day. Trying to five work minutes it. a day, you get there. Trying to work mm. on it, man. It sounds scary, though. Yeah, yeah. I know. So, man, be surprised. So I, yeah. Women love it. <laughs> I do. go to my comedy show. Can you say one thing to me? I'm like, what? She said, say yeah to me. Right in my ear, I was like, okay. Yeah. They just oh my God. <laughs> having a damn orgasm, huh? Some women like it. Some women like it. Some women think it's creepy. Like they finna get, like they finna get snatched yeah. up. Yeah. It, could, it sounds yeah. like some scary movie stuff too. You yeah, know? it sounds like a horror movie. Yeah, like a horror movie. Yeah, or, yeah. or a gay porno movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be damn good. <laughs> Glory hole. <laughs> what? So y'all, I want to know. How, so I should have said that. I'll y'all, that. I want to know, how the hell do I win a truck? Y'all mm-hmm. been giving out cars and trucks yeah, and yeah. boats and yeah. every damn thing. You know what it is? Every time, for some odd reason, a woman wins it, and she always buys it when we give away five times the interest, either the last day or the day before the last day. Yeah. yeah. That's when you have the better odds to win the yeah, truck. Yeah, and it's actually a sweepstakes company because we can't actually go through and decide yeah. who the winner is. Because I'm picking yeah. everybody. If you could decide <laughs> who the winner if you could pick the mm-hmm. winner, mm-hmm. would y'all pick me? Of course. Just of course. The, you know? That's yeah. why it's illegal for you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> the white man came on law. You got a sweepstakes. You yeah. know what? You I, was, pick. I, yeah. I was actually going, like, I was like, damn, I want to mm-hmm. win a free uh, a, a free vehicle. Right. But y'all get yeah. these big ass trucks. Yeah. How am I going to get in that damn truck? It's trucks big, too. <laughs> do they come with step stools? <laughs> Some of them do. Do the yeah. damn steps yeah. come down? You help me what? up? You know what? We bought a truck. I bought a Black Widow Chevy truck, and it's got yeah. a little lift on it, six cents. It takes a while to get used to it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's going to take forever for me to get used yeah. to it. You got to get a good hop in it. I need a Honda or something. Get a good running start. I need a Toyota Corolla. Right, right. Y'all ever giving away these damn trucks. What about, right. the, sh- what about the little people? Yeah. Did y'all yeah. not think about the little people? Uh, that, we, I, we are I, not for equality. I here. know y'all can't <laughs> pick the winner, but right. damn, what about little people who need, who need smaller cars? Right. Everybody likes trucks. Like, there's a coat falling for Jeeps. Yeah. 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 We like, go. We. Uh, I we was going to try to give away want. a minivan. People's like, I don't want no damn minivan. Yeah. I want yeah. a truck, a Jeep. People want us to start giving away uh, Dodge Challengers. Dodge Challengers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. People want the muscle cars, the trucks. Yeah, I want, a, I want a Bentley. Y'all, can y'all give away a Bentley? Well, I ain't never give away no Bentley. Why not? Them things, what, 300K? I thought y'all cared about people. Y'all not going to give away the Bentley? I care yeah. about you, but damn. <laughs> yeah, and plus the maintenance on them things is crazy. Yeah. yeah. I was, even if I had the money, and I would buy y'all give away Bentley. cash, too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to. You got taxes. Uh, yeah. You get yeah. that truck. Whatever yeah. you win, you got to pay taxes on yeah. it. So. Yeah. Y'all so generous. 
Yeah. Have y'all always been this generous? Man, you know if we gave away a truck <laughs> and it was tax time, they're going to call, man, these dudes gave me a truck. I ain't about the money to pay the taxes on. I know white people. They yeah. call it. Yeah. They call it yeah. back. The, the main reason why we started doing that is because we used to spend a lot of money on Facebook. Yeah. For ads, but they censor the crap out of us. Right. Like we just got hit with a uh, 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 fake news or something like that, and it just killed yeah. our. Um, I said, you know what? I'm not gonna give Are y'all all our money fake to news? them. No. <laughs> <laughs> Different opinions, but they yeah. considered fake news. So we said, hey, let's start. Let's give away stuff to our fans. Yeah, mm-hmm. stop so, giving money to yeah. big tech to advertise. Won't we yeah. incentivize the yeah. people who support us already? Gotcha. Gotcha. So, okay, we'll give, g- give back to our fans. Yeah, I'd rather way. give the money to our fans, people who support you. I'm not giving gotcha. it to somebody yeah. who doesn't believe in yeah. freedom of speech. So. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I, I, I want to know. Mm-hmm. You know, I know y'all get a ton of twin questions. Yeah. A ton of them. Yeah. Which one is the most annoying question that y'all get? The most annoying twin question that y'all get tired of? Are y'all twins? <laughs> <laughs> Let me mark that off. Yeah. I'm not going to ask y'all. I, that or they'll say, are y'all brothers? <laughs> like, I'm like, come on. It's no, women. Maybe sisters. they're twins. I'm like, it's actually both. Yeah. <laughs> right, you know? right. But you're not, you would not I believe mean, how many times to ask us that. Yeah. Are y'all brothers? Yeah. No, I do sisters. it too. I'm like, are y'all twins? I do yeah. it too. It's just yeah. how human. When we see twins, yeah. Natural yeah. human reaction. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, but it's common sense though. I'm, mm-hmm. I've never done that, you know? Yeah. 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 I've yeah. never done that. Now, I have met twins separately at right. the same event. Right. I was right. talking to one, then uh, then it's, it was it was two females. Mm-hmm. I was talking to one, then another one came up to me like later on. I was <laughs> she was asking me questions. I said, "We, we what? Hold on." <laughs> Right. I said, why are you asking me the same question? Yeah, you yeah. lying to you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. think I'm lying to you? You have a conversation with two different people. She said, know. no, you might right. have talked to my sister. I said, oh. Right. Uh, that makes sense because damn, we, y'all we, have the same, yeah. we, we have the same idea, same wearing, question. But yeah. they were wearing the same damn thing. Yeah. Oh, really? Why y'all going to wear the same thing, too? Uh, no. We got to change at least up the shirt, man. Now <laughs> you are making it extra confusing. Right, right. You know, so yeah. the, so so that's the most annoying twin question that y'all mm. get, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, people are a little obsessed with twins. Though. Or another thing they say, hey, if I punch him, will you feel it? I was like, well, <laughs> punch him and find out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, bam. <laughs> <laughs> but is is that true, though? Duh. You no, know? man. No. Cause p- we will finish each other's sentences, though. Yeah. You yeah. know, we think alike. We have the same. We're technically the same person because our DNA is so close. So we might. I might be sharing an idea that I'm having a hard time explaining, and he he'll come in and finish it. Yeah. Or vice versa. It's, yeah. I wonder if y'all were separated at birth and then mm. y'all met for the first time. Would y'all still be able to finish each other's sentences? I, I doubt it. But because some people say even if twins mm-hmm. are separated at birth, that they still mm-hmm. they can still feel when each other is sad. I think I think it's feel. because we've been so close ever since we were born. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. I think if you separate the twins, you lose that uh the mm-hmm. chemistry. Like if that I chemistry. if they were separate us, let's say I was raised by Pete Buttigieg mm-hmm. and his, <laughs> and his wife and husband, I would be gay. <laughs> yeah. Right. And I'm gonna be a mega supporter. I thought Pete. Hold on. I thought Pete Buddha. What is it? Buttigieg. 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 Yeah. <laughs> booty, 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 rocking everywhere, rocking everywhere. <laughs> okay, I thought he was the woman. Both of the well, they both husbands. That's his husband. Yeah, and they yeah. both feminine as hell to yeah. me. Who yeah. had the baby? Yeah, Man. I think Pete's definitely the top though. Yeah, but who had the baby? <laughs> <laughs> them fools, them fools went out and bought them a baby. So the, the baby come at the ass. Hey, that baby grow up, that baby gonna be gay. <laughs> yeah, that baby that is, gonna, is be gonna be a homosexual. It's gotta be. Oh man, yeah. I think you know me. Keep coming from the position that sexuality, sexuality is taught. Yeah, uh-huh. a, you absorb that. Yeah, right. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what the hell were we saying before we start talking about Pete Buddha Buddha Huda? Uh, 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 we were talking about twin questions. Yeah, the twin, stuff? yeah back yeah. to the twin shit. Okay, um, excuse my language, people. Uh-huh. When I'm around my brothers, they yeah. got foul. They, I mean, they, I just start <laughs> cussing when I'm around them. Oh, yeah, I've been clean so far. I mean, I just cut, like when I'm not around the Hodge twins. Right. I mean, I sound like a good Christian man. <laughs> you ought to hear. Every time I get around these dudes, I yeah. just become so Stark. damn corrupt. Hey, hey I'm a good F-fist, Christian. I don't cuss you out F-fist, though. I think what? F-fist. Mother of yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have a stretch, but we won't cuss it off. Then we're just getting a we have a a, a knack, a propensity to start cussing, and then like, oh, the potty mouth twins are back. Yeah, the Christians yeah. don't. I mean, I'm Christian too, but I 
I have a foul mouth. Just some shit talking Christians. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right now I'm on. Um, um, this is good twins. I'm not cursing anything. You're not cursing. Yeah. yeah. Right now. Yeah. You yeah. being good right now. I'm being good right now. Cause yeah. I watched a few of your interviews. And yeah. It was going good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. The, the devil F came out. <laughs> <laughs> First, y'all yeah. asked, "Can I? Can I?" <laughs> Is this hard? Can I say? Can I say what I want? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna give a fool. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is. Growing up, uh, the co comics were like, like, like Eddie Murphy. Yeah, Andrew Dice Clay. I grew up watching that. Yeah, they said what the hell they mm -hmm. wanted to say. Mm -hmm. Okay, speaking of growing mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Okay, what did y'all want to be growing up? Um, Superman. You wanted to be. He Superman. wanted to be Spider Man. Spider Man. Then I grew out of that. I wanted to be Batman. Then I grew out of that. Then I wanted to become a, a professional basketball player. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. speaking of Batman. Yeah. I was talking to somebody in New York when I was doing a podcast. We were talking about Batman. Mm -hmm. What the hell happened to Robin? They've mm -hmm. been doing all these new Batman movies. Where the hell is yeah, Robin? I ain't, know. Ain't nobody trying to look at Robin. He was gay. <laughs> <laughs> Robin was gay. He had the green cape. The red and yellow. Robin was not gay, man. man. That dude was gay as hell. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't do Robin. He was just smaller. Yeah. But what happened to Robin, though? I know. They just cut his ass off. Y'all ever, ever think about that? They yeah. should bring him back and make it a comedy. Did Batman kill Robin? <laughs> no. I think Robin has some shit on Batman. <laughs> I think Robin has some shit on Batman. I know. That is a good, interesting point, man. Batman you don't see knock, Robin. Batman yeah. knocked Robin off. He was with Batman every step of the way. Right. You mean to tell me now Batman yeah. making billions of dollars, <laughs> Robin nowhere to be found? Right, right. What happened know, to Robin? Yeah, it's true, because I grew up watching that. Yeah, uh, it's just... just what the hell happened to Rob? Okay, so mm -hmm. so Superman, then 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 Batman, then then um, uh, what was it you said after Batman? Want to be an NBA player? An NBA yeah. player. Mm -hmm. So how did that go? Didn't work out. Didn't work out. <laughs> didn't oh, work why out. Didn't work? You, I, did, I wanted to be six nine. That you, shit didn't you, work out. <laughs> you you got the height. Right. I no, know why it didn't work taller. out for no, me. I need to be tall. I'm too slow to be uh, this 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 yeah. height. Don't, yeah. don't, don't, don't talk about height. I, I, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm smaller. Your right? height, you got to be quick as hell. I was a water boy. <laughs> you remember Spud Webb? Yeah, yeah, That yeah. dude was quick. Yeah, I remember that. Job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, did you want to be a, um, yeah. a basketball player, too? Yeah, I wanted to be a basketball player, too. I thought it was going to be did like Did you want to be one because... Kevin wanted to be. Oh, one? everything we did together. Yeah. 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 Hell, we lost our virginity together. <laughs> <laughs> For real? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Lord. Not the same girl. Well, we're going to keep. We was okay. in the same room. Hey, Keith. Huh, Keith, watch this. I'm fitness. Stick it in. <laughs> <laughs> Me, too. <laughs> one, two, three. Let's go. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Five seconds. Hey, Kevin, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I'm already finished, too. That was great. <laughs> You know, I don't think I should have had y'all on. Yeah. I've been trying to keep this show good, family friendly, Christian. I, I know. Well, everybody. Lord Jesus. Yeah, this should Lord. resonate with everybody. The real terms <laughs> is coming out on this show. <laughs> this should resonate with everybody. Yeah, no, it should. Yeah. It should. It should. Okay. Even these Christians. Okay, so, you know, I, I really like to get to, I really like to know about people's past and how they grew mm -hmm. up. So, after NBA didn't work out, mm -hmm. that. What about what was next? Football. We well, went to the United States Marine Corps. Yeah, but yeah, before that, our childhood was horrible. I probably had the worst life a kid can have. Okay, it well, wasn't that bad, was it? That shit sucks. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Okay, well, let's get into the Marine stuff later then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how did y'all grow up? Y'all grow up poor? Poor as shit. We had an outhouse in our first house. An outhouse? Yeah, no we didn't have a bathroom. Hey, well, well, explain to people we what an outhouse is, because yeah. this new generation don't know about it's outhouse. A, it's like a, the, uh, it's like a porta potty. Yeah. yeah, but it wasn't a porta potty. It was just some barn, like a little small barn looking yeah. thing. Yeah. And you walked in that, and it was just a hole in the ground, and you could see it, and <laughs> bugs and mosquitoes. I mean, mosquitoes so big, like birds. That flying was in the there. bathroom. You wish was, you had a porta potty. So y'all yeah. had to use a bathroom in Outside. the outhouse. Yeah, mm -hmm. outhouse. Yeah. Where were y'all raised? Uh, it was a, a small town in Virginia, Leatherwood, Virginia. Leatherwood. Mm -hmm. Leatherwood. Mm -hmm. Leatherwood. Leatherwood. That's a true. suburb of Martinville. Sound like Which Martinsville ain't big as nothing. Leatherwood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Leatherwood. That sounds like a, a, a town in a scary movie. You know what we <laughs> lived at? Yeah, you know what we lived at? Uh, like once, it wasn't once a year, maybe every couple of years, the Klan would come and march down our street. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Did y'all ever yeah. think about joining the Klan? No, nah, I, I ain't, I ain't I never liked black people that, that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I'm not, I'm not that damn like scared. I want to be a Klan. I wasn't on the because... black side of town either, though. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Well, so y'all an uh, outhouse. Mm -hmm. So where did y'all shower? Uh, was we it had a bathtub. Too? Had a bathtub. Didn't have a shower. Yeah. Didn't have AC. We had a yeah. refrigerator that had a short on yeah. it. If you touched it, it will put about fifty thousand votes through you. <laughs> Damn. 
So, you, so I don't even know why we had a fridge away. It was never no food in it. How did y'all food. now? Was did y'all have did the tub have a, a faucet or y'all had to pour water? Yeah, in the like tub? A, a spigot right a spigot? there. Yeah, it was. But we didn't have no we didn't have no toilet or anything. Yeah, in there. I remember taking a lot how of baths big, and sh- how it, big was the house that y'all grew up in? It was in? small, probably like it was, probably, uh, it, it was like five hundred square feet. It was like five hundred square feet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was real small. Wow. Yeah. I that's, remember taking showers like in the sink in the right. kitchen. Yeah, it was just pretty much um it was just pretty <laughs> much a bedroom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that living room. I was, was like small. five or six. I'm trying I'm that trying. That living to... room was about half of this. Yeah. yeah. Now yeah. when y'all were growing up, like did you know you were poor? No. Nah, I thought things were cool. Yeah, I thought it was alright to just walk around starving to death. Because, well, because that was <laughs> I thought it's okay to be chronic because I ain't having any drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. this is normal. Yeah. Daddy just looking at TV like ain't shit going on. Listen, I, I grew up poor too, but yeah. I I didn't I didn't have an outhouse though. Yeah, we grew up, I did no. not have an outhouse. You know, I was in yeah. foster care, so I bounced from home to home. Mm-hmm. I mean, but when I was living with my mama, I mean, she mm-hmm. was on drugs, hardcore yeah, drugs. Yeah, that must have been rough in itself. She was on, care. yeah, yeah. And now, when I was with my mom, she was on, like, she was on crack. Mm-hmm. And uh, we already didn't have anything. Mm-hmm. She would use, she would go sell the food stamps. Oh, the She'd get the drugs? food, go sell the food stamps for, for crack. So yeah. one of my older sisters at the time was like 13. Mm-hmm. You know, she was, she would steal the food stamps from my mama mm-hmm. so we can have some food to eat. <laughs> my mama was, at the time, she was on no drugs. That crack told her, F those kids. Yeah. yeah. Is her mom that, still alive? Yeah. She's she still is? alive. She's do doing, you have a, uh, do you talk to her at all? Sometimes I do. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. Does she get I, over yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, she's actually going to nursing school right now. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so she's mm-hmm. in her late 60s, and she's going to nursing yeah. school. Yeah, we're so, so So it's really never too late, you know? Yeah, it's never but, too late. But we were, the- I mean, I remember eating. I, I remember there was a, t- now, my mama at the time, I think she was, she either knew somebody or mm-hmm. was sleeping with somebody mm-hmm. that had, that, had access to a lot of potatoes, so we had a shit ton of potatoes. potatoes yeah, she, but potatoes. she wasn't, but she wasn't cooking those potatoes though. Yeah. <laughs> you can make potato we were, soup. I remember biting on the on the yeah. raw potato. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God, don't. <laughs> Y'all ate it raw like caveman. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> there was one time in the fridge. There was nothing in the fridge but but a stick of butter. I was eating, we were eating the butter. Oh, we man. were sitting there eating the butter. You know what my older brother told me? What? It was, yeah, same thing. It was never nothing in the refrigerator. But I remember my older brother told me, he said, man, there was some bacon in there. Uh-huh. But we didn't have, the, the stove was working. He didn't fry it or nothing because we didn't, ha- yeah. didn't have electricity. He just took the lean off the um the bacon and ate it. Yeah. He got tapeworms. Oh, <laughs> He said sick. he went to the bathroom. Oh. He yeah. said, man, he had worms. He said he damn near passed out. They had to take him to the hospital. They gave him some kind of medication. And get that some medication is disgusting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, dude, we, we were, I mean, I'm talking about we, we had rats, roaches. Oh, we man. had rats size of cats. They I mean, like, my mama we would buy rat traps. Biggest, we had the biggest damn rats. They yeah. look like possums. Yeah, They're the so rat big. trap, when that rat trap was so big, when that rat trap went off, it sounded like a stick of dynamite <laughs> going off. <laughs> you know what's crazy? <laughs> You know what's crazy? Yeah. It was so bad, we didn't even have rat traps. <laughs> yeah. My they, mama. The rat's so big, they dragged off the. We don't even, re- I don't even remember having rat traps. Yeah. You know, because yeah. I think at the time she was like, my mama wasn't at home a lot. She was gone. Mm-hmm. And we young. Some of us not even in kindergarten yet. She gone. Yeah. What, where do you grow up at? Oklahoma. Oklahoma? Yeah, Oklahoma City. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, so, yeah, so I grew up there. But, I mean, dude, we, I mean, sometimes we have to wear. Like for underwear, some mm-hmm. of my siblings were wearing our sister's panties yeah. because we had I just no, wore the same underwear, had no underwear. Yeah. Seriously, yeah. Yeah. you know, like some of my brothers would, would put on our sister's mm-hmm. underwear of, because of, we didn't have. You didn't grow up transgender. <laughs> no, I didn't grow up trans. No, we we no, we, I, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't. Yeah, I, I didn't. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, but that, but I mean, it was it was pretty bad though. But we, but mm-hmm. we didn't have to go poop outside though. Mm-hmm. Well, at mm-hmm. least we did have a toilet. You, know? you had it good, man. Yeah, you had it know? good, man. It was yeah. horrible in the winter time when you go outside and yeah. <laughs> you got there freezing to death. Yeah. yeah. Now, what did y'all like? Uh, so, were, so was your mom and dad both around? Uh, both. I had both my mom and dad, but my dad died when when I was fourteen. He actually, 14. Di- he actually died on my fourteenth birthday. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So I grew up. Basically, with my mom. After that, now, how, mm-hmm. how many other siblings do y'all have? I have an older brother and an older sister. 
Mm-hmm. My older brother and older sister. But she had a set of, uh, she had a lot. My mom had a lot of miscarriages. It's supposed to be, and I forget how many. She lost another set of twins, too. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, y'all now y'all are the only twins, right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. My mom's a twin. Yeah. And she had another pair of sisters that were twins. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, when, when your dad passed away at 14, mm-hmm. uh... You know, I, I, I assume things got even harder for your mom mm-hmm. to be able to provide for y'all, right? Uh, right. Well, we was on death benefits, Social Security, so that yeah. helped. Yeah. So, and my sister worked. Yeah. Now, so. did your mom get food stamps and stuff like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got we got food stamps. Y'all get too. that? Y'all had that government cheese. You remember yeah. government? Yeah, cheese? I remember. I remember that government milk too. That powdered <laughs> yeah. milk. Yeah, that powdered milk. <laughs> Just add water. Oh uh, yeah, we had powdered milk. Yeah. I yeah. had powdered milk. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know? drink that stuff. Yeah, I did. You did? Yeah, I had to. <laughs> I didn't touch that cheese or that milk. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. had the we yeah now now I remember now because I I I uh there I forgot where what home I had left but anyways mm-hmm. I got back with my mom after mm-hmm. I was in the system we was back for a short period of time mm-hmm. this is the only time I can remember powdered milk mm-hmm. and you know she was like y'all my baby's back y'all we got food groceries we had popsicles all kind of all, <laughs> I mean, we had everything. We had a whole. Capri Suns. She actually used the food stamp money to yeah. to buy us food. Yeah. And then I wanted some cereal, and I just left one of my foster homes. They had real milk, you know. Right. They had real milk, you know. Yeah. They had a farm too. They had horses, chickens, everything. <laughs> Was they yeah, white? Yeah, black. Oh. Okay. Black. But uh, I mean, I don't. I mean, they had they had a bunch of animals. But anyways, mm-hmm. we had real milk though. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I went back. And I was made some cereal. She was like, "So where's the milk at? Oh, y'all gonna have to make that milk." Mm-hmm. And she put the put water in it. I was like, water and milk, yeah. like, water in this powder. Yeah. I ate the cereal. I was like, spit that shit out. <laughs> said, what the hell is this? This is not. This ain't milk. I want. You know what? I want to go back to foster care. Yeah, y'all making. <laughs> I'm going back. Well, I'm yeah. leaving, mom. Y'all yeah. making milk like Kool Aid, huh? Yeah, that stuff was disgusting. I tried it, but I ain't like it. I never. What else did they have like back in the day that was like that? I remember that cheese. It wasn't really cheese. I don't know what that. It would constipate you for a week, and then that peanut butter sucked. Um, I remember you know, they had I used some to have kind some of syrup powdered sandwiches. Eggs. I used to eat syrup, uh, syrup, syrup, syrup sandwiches. Syrup yes. sandwiches. Uh, Mama would take those. So we we, we couldn't sandwich. afford pancakes. Yeah. You know, I got cousin T's pancakes now. I gotta do the cousin T plug. <laughs> 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 gotta plug your shit. We had some cousin T syrup sandwiches. <laughs> but we didn't have no pancakes. So right. there was a little some syrup around, wrap mm-hmm. some bread and mm-hmm. pour the syrup on the bread and mm-hmm. And eat a syrup sandwich. Yeah, put a little butter you on know? it. Yeah, that's a good uh, little pancake you know, right there. Yeah, some peanut butter. Have a peanut butter sandwich. Right. Mm-hmm. There was never no jelly, though. There was never no jelly. Mm-hmm. We used to get a lot of rice, didn't we? My mom, we always have a, we have none of that shit. Just boil some rice, yeah. put some sugar in it, and eat it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, did y'all have next door neighbors where y'all go over there and ask them, hey, can, can we borrow a couple uh, eggs? We grew up in a white racist area. We ain't go over there. <laughs> yeah, I, ain't walk, I ain't walk over there. Hey, man, you got some eggs? <laughs> so, so y'all grew up around. So white y'all, people. Y'all grew up around white people. Poor mm-hmm. white people. Mm-hmm. Where, yeah. where did the poor black people live? They lived on the West End, but them niggas was crazy. How did y'all end up in a poor white neighborhood? Because daddy, daddy said, right? I'd rather go live with the racist white people than yeah. them crazy niggas over there. Because <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of crime over yeah. there. Yeah. So that we 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 lived with the white people. They didn't yeah. bother us. Yeah, like we were poor. I mean, it was people in our neighborhood that was poor, but some of the uh, whites in our neighborhood, they was they was living pretty good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So y'all grew up in a poor white neighborhood. Mm-hmm. So were y'all friends with a lot of white people? Yeah, uh, we had, some had a lot of uh, white friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I um, never had a lot of black black friends growing up. I'm the only black friend. Huh? <laughs> well, I got a couple black friends. Now. Oh, some black friends. I thought I was the only one. I had a bunch of black friends. Yeah, but them niggas used to do us dirty as hell. I don't yeah. consider them friends. Well, there was friends. There was acquaintances. <laughs> they was, them niggas was not friends. Yeah. So, okay. Several more. Yes. Them niggas did us dirty every opportunity they got. How about Leonard? He was cool. Leonard Finney. Yeah, Leonard? He was cool. Yeah, Leonard, Leonard Finney. Yeah, he was cool. Yeah. I like Leonard. Okay, cool. so... Okay, so your daddy didn't want to live around a bunch of hoodlums, mm-hmm, yeah. gang banging and shooting mm-hmm. and killing. So y'all were safer in a racist white neighborhood yep. yeah. than y'all I, were. I guess the irony in that. Yeah. I guess, I mean, at, le- at least you know, like, you can, you know, you around a bunch of black people, you may not know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. You know, at least you know that, hey, my next door neighbor, you know, at yeah. least we can be prepared. The worst but thing you're around is, a bunch of people, yeah. that, you know, that look like you, you're not thinking they're going to attack yeah, you. The worst but, thing going to happen in a racist na- white neighborhood, you might 
run into a racist, they're going to run across in your yard. Nigga, he's going to come in there and rob and kill everybody. Now. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to take this as hell. <laughs> <laughs> talking about <laughs> Nigga going to come in there. Nigga gonna take everything. So okay, so okay, so <laughs> white people. That's a that's a nigga crowd right there. Yeah. Right? So so what about the school that y'all went to? Was it all white people too, or was it mixed? Majority was white. Yeah, majority was white. Mm-hmm. It was a good mix though. But it was yeah. a good mix though. Like Bonneville High School, where we went for about two years, it was it was a lot of black staff. But then we end up going to another school, Fieldale Connellsville. Yeah, it was majority white. It was like maybe four black people there. Yeah. It was us. It was not a good mix, though. Lemuel. It was majority white. Yeah. 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 Now, did a lot of people in the neighborhood have out outhouses? Uh, no, just poor. Just well, we lived in the country, the country, country. Yeah. Yeah. Did y'all ride horses too? Nah. Mm -mm. Yeah. We couldn't afford horses. Yeah. Couldn't afford. Right. Yeah. 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 You should. You can't. If you can't afford to eat yourself, you, yeah. How are you gonna afford to eat? A, but uh, you know, I mean, I, mean, I, I say, uh, how are you gonna afford to? Uh, you know, uh, my mom and horse? daddy grew up very rural. Anyway, my yeah. mom, um, she uh, grew up on a farm, and they grew, grew up. They were very simple people. Yeah. Yeah. So, like my dad, he got a sixth grade education. My mom, she didn't finish. Damn, high six, school. sixth grade education. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, That's how, crazy. Yeah. I, I have a sister who has. I mean, she didn't even finish. I don't even think she even she didn't even finish middle school. Yeah, yeah. that was yeah. the norm. Yeah, she didn't finish thing. middle school. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So where's she at now? She's in Oklahoma. Yeah. yeah, you know she had a rough life. Her name is Keisha. Mm-hmm. She's you know she had a rough life because whenever um whenever I was two years old, mm-hmm. I believe when I was two. Well, anyways, let, let me put it like this. Um, yeah, no, yeah, I was two. So whenever mm-hmm. my sister um. No, when I was one, mm. when I was one, my sister was twelve. She was thirteen at the time. Mm. She had already had her second child. Damn! Wow. She had her first one at eleven, mm-hmm. Man. and then she had her second one at thirteen. So Jeez. after she had her kids, she didn't go back to school. Mm-hmm. And while my mom was out, you know, doing drugs and mm-hmm. you know doing like doing whatever and mm-hmm. and not not being at home taking care of us, mm-hmm. my sister. She was the one. She was like her mom. She was the one watching us. She had to grow up fast. She had to grow up fast. She was the mm-hmm. one that was stealing the food stamps so that we can have food to eat. Mm-hmm. You know, so she was raising us basically mm-hmm. while my mom was out doing drugs. So she, mm-hmm. so she had to, so she grew up really fast. You know, mm-hmm. and I mean, and my mom was on those drugs bad. Even like when my sister, my grandmother told me when my mom when she was when she had her first child at mm-hmm. at uh, eleven. Mm-hmm. My mom wasn't even at the hospital when my when my sister had her first child. Wow! So they didn't know where she was at. So they came to the house. Mm-hmm. My mom was at the house, drugged up, mm-hmm. you know. So my sister, she, you know, so to her, it's like she's been taking care of herself mm-hmm. her whole life right. and having to be grown her whole life. Yeah. So she ended up not going back to school. Mm-hmm. Um, she didn't go to foster care. She had ran off because she was old enough. She was having kids, you know. Mm-hmm. And I, at that time, I think my mom had kicked her out the house anyway. Um, <laughs> did her a favor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so 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 my sister had it. So she, you know, and and she, she's not really educated at all. Mm-hmm. She had a tough life, so she started dealing, hustling, yeah. you know, selling drugs, doing all that stuff. Yeah. And she stopped doing all of that. Mm-hmm. She got out of that life, and now she's doing better. Mm-hmm. She has grandkids and you know, mm-hmm. but yeah, but yeah. when you don't have when you don't have an educate, yeah, I mean, your dad did good, you know. Right. But some people Man, they don't, don't have, have anything. They don't have a uh, an educational past the sixth grade. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, you know, like my dad, nah, he we, he's he started working. Yeah, he's been working his entire time. My mom was more of a housewife, but my dad, he didn't go to school, but he went to work. Yeah, what like my uncle told me, he said he 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 told me he went to work at a uh, what was that a bread mill? Just back in those days, nobody finished high school. Not well, black, if he was black anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do it. So okay, so now y'all report. Now what kind of like? So y'all, I'm, I'm, like, did y'all get bullied at school for having like cheap clothes or yeah, I didn't have any clothes. clothes. I would wear. I remember my feet was hurting so bad because I wore the shoes like three, three school years. While my wow. pants is high waters. Uh, yeah, the hot water. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah so yeah. and my Everybody brother wearing Jordash and Lee jeans. He come up in that <laughs> Reebok with, with some rustlers on. <laughs> <laughs> Mama take us to the uh, dollar store for Christmas yeah. shopping. Everybody yeah. coming to school with Reebok stuff. We coming there with some USA five hundred. <laughs> yeah, remember yeah. them USA five hundred? Yeah, shoes had a yeah. crazy white to them. <laughs> 
<laughs> it wasn't that natural white. Yeah. It was like that, that, that glowing white, yeah. that shoe polish white. Right. Man. Yeah, it was rough. That's that's one of my um. That's why I say our child was so bad because kids could be so cruel, and I didn't have the clothes. Not alone, I didn't have the clothes. I didn't have the confidence or anything because my house, the house we lived in, it looked like it was going to fall at any second. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, so, and yeah. I used to have I, people's yeah. parents drop me off. They said, oh, my God, you live in that house? <laughs> oh, no. I didn't know anybody lived in that <laughs> house. I thought that house was abandoned or something. Wow. We was living in a house. Windows broken out and shit. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It was bad, bad. That, God, we had, like, one of the worst childhoods. <laughs> God, <leave. laughs> So people pull it up. It's funny, but it's not funny. Yeah. It's like, I remember when Looking we back on it, shit's funny as hell. Now, <laughs> yeah. but I remember we catch the school bus, right? Yeah. And we have the school bus drop us off at a certain place because I didn't want the school bus to drop us off right out of our house. Yeah. yeah. And we just, <laughs> we'll <laughs> walk down the road. You ain't pick me up in front of this house. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I walk home. I'm yeah, good. I'm good. I'm yeah, walk I walk. Home. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We yeah we kind of want to walk anyway. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We yeah we prefer to walk. Yeah, it was yeah. kind of. Damn. Bad. So somebody pull up like <laughs> that's got to be embarrassing. Yeah. Y'all live there? <laughs> yeah, all the kids on the bus like look where they live. Oh, <laughs> yeah. they used to really. call it the Amityville house. Yeah, remember, remember that, that horror movie? Yeah, the, the haunted Amityville? house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they people said, yeah like the haunted house, huh? Yeah. And you know what's crazy? We used to have some horrible storms in uh, Martinsville, right? Yeah. Like bad thunderstorms, and lightning, and wind. We had these big ass trees, and I'm scared yeah. when them trees were gonna fall in the house <laughs> and kill everybody in the house. You, you know what? I, I think Mother Nature feels sorry for y'all house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So but you know let me what? tell you this. <laughs> let, let me tell you this. A couple trees fail, right? Yeah. And we was in the house when yeah. it fell. Look at the TV, <laughs> yeah. right? Look at the TV, and this is little. 13 inch black and white TV, right? Uh-huh. Hot as hell. I'm sweating. Yeah. Ain't no AC in the house. <laughs> yeah. We sit down looking at Red Fox, looking at Sanford and Sons. Yeah. yeah. And then we heard some go, <laughs> boom! <laughs> and, we, and it was so loud. Scare me. And we bounced up in with chairs. I looked at Mama. What the fuck was that? <laughs> right? We go outside with them big ass Cherokee trees and things. Cherokee? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. if one of them trees was to fall and hit that house, that yeah. house would explode. Uh, <laughs> damn. And all the niggas inside is dying. Y'all that was my big, I was so y'all scared. Y'all wouldn't have been see. here if that yeah. tree would have hit that house. Yeah. yeah. So y'all had one of those, you remember the, uh, what's that damn piggy story? The the story about the, the yeah. wolf and the pigs? Yeah, uh, yeah. The, the big bad wolf. Yeah, the big yeah. bad wolf. Yeah. yeah. So y'all had one of those houses, uh, yeah. the big bad wolf, he huffed, and he puffed, <laughs> and he blew the house away. <laughs> I, you know what? I think the, I think the little pigs, no, the little no, pigs had a better house. No, listen, yeah. I, it's funny, but it's not funny, you know. Yeah. And I'm, I'm laughing to y'all. Listen, I I grew up poor. I'm allowed to laugh at this yeah. shit, okay? Yeah. I'm allowed to laugh, but yeah. that's some funny stuff. And, and he blew the Hodge twins' house away. <laughs> yeah, we we was the three little pigs. <laughs> Hey, man. Oh, hey, man. Oh, this ain't funny, man. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm laughing, y'all. Listen. Listen, we grew up po. Yeah. Man, that was po po. Po 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 People were literally yeah. had a, had to go take a dump outside. Yeah, I know. People don't relate. You think your life really is bad? Yeah. You Especially think, these kids nowadays, man. It's so pretty. You think your life is bad? Yeah. Because you ain't got no iPhone? Yeah. My kids, man, I spoil them every every chance I get. They don't r- really understand. Do y'all remind? Like, like, I try to. Yeah. Because, you know, our parents did say, man, you ain't, this ain't bad, man. I yeah. had to walk. 15 miles to get to school. And they probably just be rolling yeah. their eyes like, I know, y'all had an owl house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> but crazy. you know, if if people don't experience stuff like that, your kids or whoever, mm-hmm. you know, they they really they really won't understand. They yeah. Won't. They okay. can't imagine. There's no way to imagine that, you know. Yeah. yeah. I grew up poor, too, but I can't imagine having to be, having to go to a damn outhouse to use the restroom, you know? Yeah. So it was so bad you know, I didn't even go in the aisle. I just went in the damn woods. Yeah, like some people some people got it all. Like I remember 
I, uh, I had got back in touch with 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 uh, one of my foster families, and I went mm-hmm. to visit them out in uh, Louisiana. Mm-hmm. And uh, their green uh, a couple they they had two grandkids that were that were living with them who I once ha- had lived with that they had adopted. Mm-hmm. But I went. We had been out of touch for a very, for a very long time, and I got mm-hmm. back in touch with them mm-hmm. because I and I had been out of touch. With, like I was in their foster home when I was like in kindergarten. Mm-hmm. Well, before be before before I got to kindergarten, that was a pleasant experience, right? Yeah, <laughs> compared to home, huh? That was a pleasant experience compared to home, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah it was. Mm-hmm. It, yeah, it was. It was. But I got back in touch with them, and uh, I. Uh, Cause the guy I went to high school with, he was sitting next to me, mm-hmm. and I have, and I was out of their house before 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 the second grade. I'm in the like I'm I'm in the ninth grade now. Mm-hmm. I haven't heard from them since. Oh, this yeah. guy sitting next to me had he had a binder. He got on my damn nerves. I didn't like the guy. Right. And I looked mm-hmm. over and he had their photo in his like in, inside of his binder. Right. And I was like, that's my mom and papa. That's why I used to call them. Right. So I got back in touch with them that way. Oh, really? was, he was like, "Oh, you Terrence? Yeah, you used to be in, in the foster. Yeah, yeah, yeah." Mm-hmm. Then I got back in touch with them. I went down there. She, they fighting with the kids to make them wash the dishes. They don't want to wash the dishes. Mm-hmm. I'm oh, like, really? "Hold on, y'all got a dishwasher? Yeah. Right? Y'all, I would love to wash these damn dishes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I'm scrubbing dishes. Yeah. You know, where mm-hmm. I, because mm-hmm. where I was at at the moment, like with my adopted family, mm-hmm. we didn't have no dishwasher. Right. So I'm yeah. like, damn, y'all got a dishwasher. And you know what's funny? Y'all I, don't want to wash dishes. Yeah. You know what's funny? I'm happy to wash these damn dishes. <laughs> yeah. I still don't use a dishwasher. I still clean them. Because that's that old. That's that. Yeah. yeah y'all. I don't know why people use dishwashers. They're, They're good now, though. Yeah. They yeah. actually clean the plates. Really? But yeah, but but sometimes. <laughs> You should clean the dishes, then put them in there. Yeah, that's I think what it's I do. better if you, if you clean them on your own. Yeah, I think yeah. it's better. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. what I do. But I was thinking to myself, like y'all over here tripping in my head, like yeah. they don't they over here complaining about washing the dishes. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking like, damn, y'all got it good over here. I would love to live here and wash these dishes. I remember, you know, I'm like man, y'all <laughs> like yeah. to me that was like rich. I, I like remember, you gotta be rich. To have that, you know. Yeah, yeah. I remember uh, we went to our friend's house. They had air conditioning. It was cold as hell in that house. Mm-hmm. I said, "Why is it so damn cold in this house?" <laughs> I didn't know what air conditioning. <laughs> oh, y'all didn't have air conditioning. We didn't have air conditioning. Well, damn, the windows were out, so of course yeah. y'all didn't have yeah. air conditioning. Yeah. It was hot as hell in the house. Mm. I never realized that you could cool your house down. You know what? I was mm. so. This time I was so we, we we were running low on soap once, and I went to um, this is this is when I was in one of my foster homes. Used to joy soap. Yeah, this is when I was one of my foster homes. We, you know, we were running low on soap. The money was low. I went to the first time me stealing from somebody's house. I stole a bar of soap. You did. I stole a bar. But of you soap. felt terrible, didn't you? Huh? You felt terrible, didn't you? Not really. I, I, I needed that either. damn soap. I needed that damn soap. <laughs> I, I put the bar of soap in my damn pocket. I said, "Oh, we finna be. We, we, we finna take a damn shower tonight. We finna be clean tonight. <laughs> we finna be clean tonight. We used to shoplift a lot for, just for food, though." Yeah. For like real? Walmart, yeah. Mm-hmm. So what kind of food y'all used to steal? I, I would get the hamburger meat. Uh-huh. <laughs> he would get the pasta and the sauce. <laughs> so y'all, uh, I was sticking it in my home. Have y'all ever been caught stealing from Walmart? No, no. It's y'all too never good, been man. caught. I was, I was too good. quick. I was, I was too quick to them. I was too quick for them white people. We had our yeah. plan. said, we're going to hit them. We're going to hit them quick, and we're going to get out. What gets shopped if it's caught is they procrastinate. Y'all I go it. in, pick up the meat, bam. Keep picking up the pot, Bam. <laughs> Put the sauce, bam! I got the loaf of bread. Let's go! Hey, I'm getting, the, I'm getting yeah. the sandwiches too. <laughs> Give me a can of sandwich. I, I, I never stole from the grocery store, but I yeah. would. Well, technically, I have. Mm-hmm. I would just open up food and eat it while I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> you oh, you're trying to get caught. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to, to get caught. I had to eat now. Yeah. yeah. I used to open up. I, I used to open up a box of those oatmeal cream pies. You ever heard yeah. of those? Yeah, yeah, oh, hell yeah. yeah. Little yeah. Debbie. Little Debbie. Yeah. Yeah. I used to swallow them in them, them <laughs> Swiss cakes. <laughs> the little, the black see? cake with the yeah. work swirl. Uh-huh. Swallow that something cold. Man, the yeah. oatmeal cream pies. Yeah. Those nutty bars. Off? Yeah. I used to just get eat garbage. Yeah. Kids. 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 Yeah. yeah. So did y'all go to college? Yeah. Uh, we not at the first. college. Not at first. Um, mm-hmm. I say I, I think I was around in my mid to late twenties. I went online, got a bachelor's degree. In what? Uh, accounting and finance. Oh, yeah. you know your numbers. And that degree sucked. That was it just. Has to been boring. Man, so long as I kept paying them, they kept giving me my A's and B's. Yeah. Stop paying them. It's that's, a racket. That's the only way you fail. Right. <laughs> Don't pay your bill. I, I mean, mean you got to give yourself some credit, man. 
Give yourself some credit. Give yourself some credit. You tried. I did the work. I did. So you used to want to, So you were hoping to be an accountant? Yeah, I was. I wanted to be a CPA or an enrolled agent. That's what our plan was. Yeah. So do you do your own taxes now? Nope. Um, no, it's too complicated yeah. now. You yeah. went to school for it, man. You should understand it. Man, no, man. I'm a that's so CPA. You, 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 you know you're making a lot of money when your taxes is complicated. <laughs> no, it's complicated. <laughs> yeah. I ain't never heard. Well, you better have a CPA or an enrolled agent, somebody with a license, because yeah. being conservative, I know they look at it as hard. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, of, no, our taxes are complicated. Yeah. yeah. And complicated. And I'm conservative. It's, yeah. They are singling people yeah. out. They are... Uh, persecuting people for yeah. their political views, so yeah. I make sure my stuff is legit. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be on yeah. it. You gotta be on it. They coming for yeah. you. So then y'all went to the Marines. Well, we went to the Marines right out of high First. school. Yeah. Right out of high school. Okay. Mm-hmm. I was in motor transport. Keith was at man. He worked in a mess hall. Okay. Did, did four years there. Got out. Became security guards. Okay. Then I went into uh, top flight security. Top yep. flight. Then I went in loss prevention for a little bit, asset protection, they call them, undercover security. Check shoplifters. Yeah. Then I, I did some PI work. Hey, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on, wait a Private minute. Private investigator. No, yeah. you were investigating shoplifters mm-hmm. when y'all were stealing from Walmart? Yeah, I was, a girl, I was <laughs> good at it, too. I was good at it, too. So, I knew exactly what to look for. <laughs> Look up, I can see it in his eyes. Look at <laughs> look, 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 look how big a nigga's yeah. eyes is. So if anybody was qualified yeah. <laughs> yeah. to catch shoplifters, yeah, it was the Hodge twins. Yeah, I just got out of the Marine Corps. I was perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So I did that. We did that for like eight years. I worked at Ross. I worked at Target. Became a private investigator. You worked at Ross and Target? Mm-hmm. Were you doing folding clothes? Mm-hmm. Uh, check security. Oh, 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 oh security. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So we, then we was private investigators for a while. How y'all? Uh, but this is my thing here. Mm-hmm. Like y- y'all, like I don't know how big y'all were then, but y'all, y'all look too damn big to be undercover security. You yeah. Just, you just look. Y'all look like security right I know. now. <laughs> oh, black people are those the cops right now. <laughs> Run the cops. Yeah. <laughs> guys, you know, you go to blacker, they will pick you out so quick. Yeah. <laughs> look at them. Yeah. Yeah, because black people are professional criminals. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at the cops over there. <laughs> look at the narcs over there pretending to do something. Now, did y'all have the long beards too when y'all were in No, I couldn't grow a beard back those days. Now, y'all didn't work at these places at the same time, right? Yeah, yeah, worked yeah. at the same time. Usually <laughs> he would get the job and then I'd get But y'all, were y'all on the same shift? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, Man, yeah. sometimes in the same car when it's following people, yeah. And we did a lot of things together. So did anybody ever fight y'all? Oh. Uh, yeah, we got in altercations yeah. uh, back in those days, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I got in some fist fights. Yeah. Won some. I won more than I lost. Yeah, you yeah. know, one uh, one of my brothers, he 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 got caught shoplifting. Yeah, uh, it, it it worked out well for me because mm-hmm. uh, my uh, my uh, adopted family they had went out of town to Memphis to go to some basketball tournament, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And uh, I stayed back with some cousins that that were like watching us. And uh, and and uh, my adopted dad, he had this camera. That he would film the basketball games with, so we were we wanted to play around with the camera while, like, right. while he was gone. Mm-hmm. So we were filming ourselves in the house, like mm-hmm. like like a damn reality show. Right. I was jumping on the couches, cussing, mother f this, mother yeah. f that, da, yeah. da, da. badass, <laughs> badass foster kids. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was jumping on the couch. I was yeah. having a bl- I mean, we were cussing. Roll. I mean, dude, I was tearing the house up on camera. But when they got mm-hmm. back, we cleaned everything up. Mm-hmm. But then we forgot to, we were recording it. And they, oh. we, for, we forgot to, uh, at that time, you couldn't, like, delete it. You had to record over it or something. Yeah, oh, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we forgot to record over that. Mm-hmm. And they came home. They are like, you know what? We need to, let's watch some old basketball games. So mm-hmm. they got so they got out the camera. And I'm on the couch jumping up and down. Eh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm against the T. I'm against the T. F y'all. Yeah. And then, so they had grounded me. I was like, damn, they grounded me. I couldn't do anything. Mm-hmm. And then God, I mean, thank you, Jesus. God came through. The next day after I was grounded, my brother, they went to the mall. Mm-hmm. This fool went in a dressing room. Mm-hmm. And he was putting clothes up under his clothes. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was people people think just because <laughs> there was just the easiest one. They would take clothes and walk out all the clothes gone. <laughs> 
<laughs> he put he put clothes. He went in there with sunglasses. Right. He had the sunglasses in his pocket. Yeah. And they were walking out yeah. of the mall. They said, "Stop right there!" So he said, "Stop yeah. right there!" The police stopped him. Oh, they were yeah? like, "What's going on?" They told him this young man is stealing, and mm-hmm. he had. This dude's body looks swole. Like he, <laughs> yeah. had on a he got all vest. the clothes underneath he his clothes. He got all the clothes under his cl- un- under his little shirt. Right. And uh, and, and the, no, I think I think he had a jacket on too, to trying yeah. to hide it a little mm-hmm. bit. Mm-hmm. So then, so then he got grounded. And I was and I was off ground. I was good. I was good. So God came through. Thank yeah. you, Jesus. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. But thank God for him shoplifting. Because <laughs> yeah. all my rights were taken away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he came through. Those are the easiest ones to spot, <laughs> Yeah, man. exactly. They take all the clothes in the fit room. <laughs> I was grounded for one day because my brother was a crook. Yeah. And he, he kept doing it, though. So, yeah. so he went you, to Walmart, did yeah. it. Mm-hmm. You so know? you had a, how many brothers and sisters did you have? So my mom had nine of us, seven oh, wow. boys and two girls. Mm. I'm the fifth oldest. Oh wow! Um, and then my dad has some kids. You know, I don't know all mm-hmm. of, all of them, but yeah, my but my mom had nine of us. Oh wow! Yeah, oh wow, that's a big she had seven, a lot of kids. Yeah, and and I mean, just the first. I don't even have kids right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, but just out of the first four, it's over twenty something grandkids. Oh wow! And you know, we got quite a and some great grandkids. Mm-hmm. That's just from the first four. <laughs> we, I mean, it's it's a it's a big family, right? Speaking yeah. of family, mm-hmm. how does y'all family react? And so y'all went, y'all went from the military, and mm-hmm. then y'all started doing comedy. Mm-hmm. Did y'all start doing comedy, stand up? Uh, well, we became insurance adjusters for a bit. Insurance? Like, damn, y'all done done it all. Yeah, he was insurance adjusters, and then Keith came to my cubicle one day. Hey, let's be comedians. I'm like, what are you talking about? We're going to school. We're going to be CPAs. Right? Yeah. He said, no, it's this thing called YouTube. So mm-hmm. we started doing YouTube videos. Then we start doing the YouTube videos at work because we didn't have time to do the YouTube videos. Uh-huh. Then we end up getting fired for the YouTube videos because we we're cursing. So y'all got fired for cursing. Yeah, in the in the videos. Is it because we were filming you were the videos at work, or was it because of the of the topic? Uh, because, Just because we were cursing. Yeah. The main thing, the reason why they fired is because the the economy took a downturn. And yeah, they, they was overstaffed. They had to cut. And people. that was an that excuse, was an excuse, excuse to get yeah. rid of. Them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which is the best thing that ever happened to us. Yeah, because yeah. they gave us more time to do YouTube. Yeah. So then that blew up. Mm-hmm. And then y'all started doing comedy shows. Yeah, mm-hmm. started doing comedy shows. Traveling the world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did yeah. that for about, yeah. uh, about five years? Six Did, years now doing comedy. S- yeah, I mean, and then we went political. Yeah, our, that's yeah, what I was wondering. Yeah. So then y'all went political. How, how did that happen? Mm, well, I, we, I got tired of saying yeah. the direction the country was going. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I got tired of seeing all these black celebrities always preaching the same mm-hmm. garbage and nonsense. I'm like, that's not the world yeah. we live in. So mm-hmm. we just want to give our point of view. Did yeah. you know what? It was funny. When I went to y'all's first show, mm-hmm. no, not y'all, y'all's first show. Mm-hmm. When I went to, to, to y'all's show for the first time, it was in Austin. Yeah, Austin, I, Texas. I used, that's the last time they let us go there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was wondering why. I didn't Remember the guy that was wearing Trans Lives Matter? Uh-huh, yeah. yeah. So, you know, I used to live in Austin, mm-hmm. and there were some people there that I had worked with. Oh, really? Yeah, it mm-hmm. was actually somebody, yeah, and this she was actually, she was a, a lesbian girl or whatever. Mm-hmm. But but she didn't, she was, it was, she wasn't tripping about y'all saying, like, stuff about gay people. Mm-hmm. But it was the Trump stuff. Y'all have brought up Trump. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know she was there. Then I saw her in the lobby. I was like, oh, mm-hmm. what you doing here? She was like, I used to follow these dudes on YouTube, but they on some other shit. Like, mm-hmm. she was like, I didn't know they was going to be talking about yeah. politics and yeah. Trump. And mm-hmm. yeah. she was like, I, I remember that show. We talked about Trump very literally. Yeah. It was at the end of the show. Like, it was but, at the very end. But yeah. she was, uh, but she she was like, I, but she was bothered by that though. Oh yeah, people she was she, she was bo- and y'all talked about Trump like at the end of, like at the end of the show, mm-hmm. and I was like, well, you haven't seen their stuff on social media lately. Mm-hmm. She said, no, I haven't watched them in a long time. I just saw that they she were coming into to, town. Yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah, but yeah. she was like a little upset about that, you know. That's the danger of yeah. putting out content because our content yeah. that we do on YouTube is so broad, mm-hmm. yeah. and they don't really um, yeah. go together. So mm-hmm. when you have these people might be in fitness, might be yeah. in relationships, and they come and they don't know your political views, mm-hmm. it, yeah, people can get easily offended. Yeah, she yeah. didn't have no, she yeah. had no clue about my social media though. She, oh, really? she knew me because we worked together. Yeah, but yeah. she didn't follow me on social media. Yeah. I was like, oh. <laughs> you're yeah, not if you want to like... divide a room, all you got to <laughs> do is bring up Trump. Yeah. <laughs> you, well, you're not going to mm. like me anymore. Yeah. So, I mean, what was the react? Like, how did how did the the uh, the long, the like, 
how did your fans that's been around for a very long time, you know, the long time? Oh, they dot, they, they dumped fans. us like a used condom. Like a used condom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> our, our fan base was very young. <laughs> yeah. It flipped overnight to older and white. So you didn't have any fans that were like, you know what? No, we had fans we had that had some fans. That but we, we love had, y'all for who yeah. y'all are. And, yeah. you know, I would say some fans. I would say 50% of our fans stayed. Yeah. Yeah. But half of them, like I, we had a good mix mm-hmm. racially, but now the crowd is mainly white. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You see black people there, but they got white wives, yeah, white girlfriends, white husbands. Yeah, it's um, really weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really weird. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, you know, like whenever I was warned mm. not to get into politics. Yeah, you're going to put yourself. I in a was box. warned because mm. when I did my first video, mm. I blew up, but it wasn't about Trump or anything. Mm-hmm. I was just talking about how much I love America. Right. Some of my friends talking about they want to move back to Africa. I said, <laughs> and you know, in this video, I was cussing like y'all. I said, move back to Africa. I said, fuck that. Mm. I said, y'all. I said, move. I ain't moving back somewhere I ain't never been. Yeah. I said they got flaws out there to kill y'all down. I yeah, said, I said these they got, black people. I, I, I said they got flaws out there that will kill y'all yeah. asses. I'm not moving no yeah, damn. Yeah, and Africa. it doesn't make any sense yeah. to move back because they sold your exactly. ancestors. I Why said, I'm going back? Yeah, yeah, I said, what the hell y'all want to move there for? I said this is the greatest country in the world. Yeah. People are moving here to America. Yeah. Why the hell I'm gonna be moving there yeah. when they moving here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Y'all want to blame the white man for this and that? Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. just because you got twelve damn kids, the white mm-hmm. man didn't push Tyrone inside you. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, yeah. Right. <laughs> like you know, I never they, understand that. Yeah, man. and so people were mad about that, but it was mm-hmm. just me just explaining how much why I'm not moving to another country, mm-hmm. how why I love America, mm-hmm. and that video took off, and then so, you know people and and then the election was around the corner. Mm-hmm. Well, it wasn't well. Trump at that time, Trump was still on stage with like fifteen other mm-hmm. Republicans, right? Like, debating. debating and stuff. And people were asking me, "Well, damn, who is th- this guy? Terrence is funny. I mm-hmm. would wonder who who's he voting for." Mm-hmm. And and uh, I told one of my old foster sisters, I said, I'm, "I'm voting for Trump." She was like, "Don't say that on Facebook, though." Right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Don't, right. Don't, don't don't don't. Yeah, don't they say, told us not to go into politics. Don't too. don't yeah. don't you say that. All the black people around me don't. Yeah, they don't, said, yeah. don't don't say that. But mm-hmm. I said it. I said it. I said, mm. I'm voting for Trump. Mm. I didn't see what the problem. I mean, I was like, why can't I say it? Yeah. I'm already speaking my mind. I already done pissed off a bunch of people. No. Why can't I say who, Democrats who, who I'm supporting? Own black people. When I said Trump, I had so many new people unfollow me. You're 15 mm-hmm. minutes of fame is up. They all oh, said that, right? They all said that. They all said that. You, your 15 minutes of fame is up. I'm not following you anymore. How dare you? He's a rapist. He's a racist. How could you, you say can't that? Can't prove none of that. How could you say that about Hillary? Mm-hmm. I was like, damn. So yeah. I just doubled yeah. down. There's a bunch of trouble thinking People on talking both about, you sides. Kicked out, uh, mm-hmm. I, I was hearing shit I never heard before. Yeah. You know, you kicked out the black community. I said, yeah. what the hell does that mean? Have yeah. y'all ever been, been told that? Oh, man, they took my black card. I said, good. I didn't want to be black to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a white man stuck in a yeah. black man's body. Yeah, I'm transracial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, they, they, I heard the, all those same talking points, man. It's just. Did it ever hurt your feelings? Did it ever hurt y'all's feelings? It kind of upset me because it's, yeah. it's, it's hard having a conversation a conversation with somebody who so that's so irrational. It's like yeah. talking to a brick wall. It's like, and then they try to say that the reason why I'm Republican is because I don't want to be black. I want to be white. That's so yeah. stupid. It's just dumb. Yeah. That's so but stupid. the reason why they say that is because they're projecting. That's why they're Democrat because mm-hmm. white liberals made them think, hey, the other side's racist. Mm-hmm. So yeah. they project that onto us. That's right. why they say we want to be white. Yeah. No, that's, they say that because they're black and Black people have to be Democrat, or yeah. you're a sellout. Yeah, that's why yeah. they. That's why they say they that. They don't see the systematic racism in that when they yeah. say things like that. Yeah. I don't. I can't vote because I'm black. Right. That is the epitome of systematic racism, right. and they and regurgitate it to everybody. Like reverse racism. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Like you 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 call. Oh, it's them. just racism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you are calling these. You calling white people racist, but you as a black person, you're sitting there telling me mm-hmm. I'm not allowed to think for myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're telling me that I'm not allowed. That I can only vote for the person that you approve of. Yeah, yeah. Are you are you at your damn mind? Yeah, yeah that's that's. I gotta get your permission. That's Jim Crow two right there. I gotta get your permission. Yeah, yeah. Democrats own black people. They do. They are really you at do. your damn mind? Yeah. yeah. When they when they can't even name one policy. Yeah, I know. One policy. The only reason why they hate people Republicans because they've been taught that they've been conditioned to hate. Yeah. That they they're not for black people. My yeah. mama, my mama used to tell me all the time. Oh, Republicans are for. 
for white people. Liberals mm. are for blacks. Yeah. I, I, I voted for Bill Clinton. I voted for Al Gore. Yeah. Because I was raised that way until I yeah. started actually paying attention and listening to both sides. Yeah. Nobody, any rational person that's a Democrat nowadays, you are irrational. You got men competing against women. It, yeah, yeah, right. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. That's why the first time I voted for a Republican was Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney. Mm -hmm. And look how horrible he is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, terrible. Anything That's all better than a Democrat. Yeah, it was better yeah. than a Barack Obama. Yeah, I voted for Barack his yeah, first the, time. The, the first time, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people did. Yeah. You know what? They, Obama's a scam artist. He had everybody believing in his bullshit. Yeah. yeah. It was a <laughs> campaign. Hope. Yeah. <laughs> hope hope for what? Yeah. <laughs> it was change. Something about change, wasn't it? Change or hope, something like that. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was, it was change. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was. I think change. the first, his first term was hope. Change. It was hope. Change. I think it was change was the first one. Then the next one was hope because everybody pretty much figured out this ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> change to hope. He went yeah. from change, and I yeah. hope we can bring I on change. I hope I can finally do yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, so people are calling y'all coons, of course, coons, Uncle Tom, which is yeah. racism. Now, yeah. but how did your family and friends react when y'all came out as conservatives? Um, my older brother's always been conservative. His yeah, retired my sister Army. she swings more liberal. She got the vaccine and everything, yeah. but they're fine with it. Yeah, they yeah. didn't disown me anything. Some of these family members, I had family what members a, yeah. trash me on Facebook. Just because I was Trump support. Man, yeah. I, I have, that is crazy. You know what? I I have some family members too yeah. that. That are up under my comments. I'm thinking like, well, you 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 really need to stop because mm -hmm. I I don't want to bring family drama to social media. Yeah, because right. I could get on here and tell everybody that you're 30 something years old and you still living with people <laughs> and not paying rent. Right. But I'm not gonna do that though. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Right. Because then they're gonna say, Terrence, stop airing your family mm -hmm. drama. Yeah. Terrence, you're better than that. Please please don't stoop that low. Yeah. But I'm just thinking like, how dare you? Mm -hmm. How dare you comment under my? Uh, yeah. Under my video, talking shit to me when you got my phone number, mm -hmm. call me. And yeah. actually, you owe me money, but you, mm -hmm. but you can't, you can't, you can't. Oh, you can't text me and tell me when you can pay me back. Right, right. Yeah. But you can comment and say f Trump yeah. up under my video. When, when it comes, no f you and yeah. pay me back my money. <laughs> right. There's a lot of problems when it comes to blacks and politics. Yeah. Do you know I had a cousin? I'm not gonna name his name. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna name. Ray Ray. That's called Ray Ray. Yeah. But I, I I have a cousin. Mm. Uh, uh, he hates Trump so much. This is mm. ridiculous, you know. Uh, my cousin lives with my, uh, and he's my cousin through foster care. Mm. Uh, but my adopted mother's, my adopted mom's mother. She's a she's a really nice lady. I mean, mm. she let everybody live with her. Mm -hmm. Everybody, mm -hmm. y'all can go live with her if y'all needed to. I'm not lying. Mm -hmm. She let she's one of those people. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, you let everybody live with you. <laughs> everybody, seriously, she you don't even know these people. She's a good woman, but they need a home. You know, yeah, they right. need a home. Feed every animal, every cat and dog <laughs> that come in the yard. Right. I'm yeah. like, you you got to stop being this nice. Yeah. But one of my cousins that's been living with her, he's I mean, this guy's, I mean, he's probably about to be forty now. Never mm -hmm. had his own place. Really? Never had his own place. Mm. Does not help her pay rent. She she's still working, working hard. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, she's she's old and still working hard, mm -hmm. taking care of other people. She's Damn one of those. Leeches. She's of leeches one of those around. older ladies. Yeah, one like one of those elder family members mm -hmm. who take care of people her whole life. Yeah, people who can people who work and have jobs but don't want to pay rent. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, when Trump was the president. Uh, I, when Trump was the president, I, f I forgot something had passed, whatever it was. Mm. But anyways, um, he was working at uh, Walmart, mm. and uh, Trump passed some type of whatever I don't know. Mm. But um, it gave, uh, uh, but but so some of these big corporations were able to give bonuses to their employees. Mm -hmm. I forgot. Because Why? of the tax cuts, and yeah, stuff? yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, so because of the tax cuts, mm -hmm. so Walmart gave him like over a thousand bucks, and you know, oh, that's cool. A, a bonus check for over a thousand bucks. He did not want it because Trump was the president. Yes, yeah, built the oh, illness man. right there. He did not want it, so he gave it away when he could have gave it to the our grandma. Is, yeah, you know, just, yeah. just to help pay rent. Yeah. But he didn't want it, so he re so he gave it away. He rejected the bonus check because it came from Trump. Still got to pay taxes on it. <laughs> Do you not know how 
insane that is? Yeah. yeah. Do you not know how crazy that is? Yeah. And he's the type of person who will comment under my posts. Yeah. And call me a sellout or say something about Trump or whatever. Dude. Mm-hmm. But that's the typical Democrat voters. Dude, they are irrational. You're Especially the last, if they're black. Yeah. You you are the last person that should be talking. Yeah, but yeah. this is how this is how radical and insane and just flat out stupid Nuts. they are Nuts. Need a straightening. Do jacket. you know how crazy that is? <laughs> yeah, it's real crazy. Fixated, obsessed on like I don't like Joe Biden. But I'm not gonna sit there. If he, if I get like a, a bonus because Joe Biden is out, I'm spending it. Now, if yeah. they get he gives you, me reparations, I'm spending all that money. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not gonna turn down the reparations? No, no I'm dumb. gonna take it. I'm gonna spend it. They dumb enough to give it to me. I'm gonna spend it on my kids. No. You're not gonna turn down the reparations. Nope. Mm-hmm. Shit, I ain't turning it down either. No, I'm not. Now, although I don't think it's fair, I don't think people. You know, I don't think it's fair. Either. I think all Americans need help. But if you give me a million dollars in reparations. I'm spending it yeah. on white businesses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give some to the Trump campaign. <laughs> Support white businesses. Yeah. <laughs> All lives matter. All lives matter. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. So how has life been since y'all became the conservative twins? Uh, it was good when we, when we actually yeah. took off and we was uh, – Entrepreneurs on YouTube, yeah. we had business, we was living on our own, we, yeah. was, we relied on nobody, we'd been living good. Yeah. Um, and then when we started Conservative Twins, it started getting more political. I thought that our fans was supporters before, before, but before we conservatives, went they really support. Yeah. They yeah. really support you. Like, whenever we have a comedy show, when we come out, yeah. They give you a standing ovation. You leave with a standing ovation. I mean, the waitress, people that's at the comedy, said, man, y'all's fans took care of yeah. us. You yeah. know what's crazy? At my comedy shows, Yeah. I, I, listen, I understand that people love y'all. Mm. But in my VIP section, mm-hmm. people come up, people wearing Hodge Twin shirts. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm like, why you ain't got on my shirt? <laughs> <laughs> the hell you got on a Hodge Twin shirt for? Yeah. Then they giving me uh, stuff they bought. Give, the gifts that they give me, they right. bought from y'all's site. Yeah. <laughs> I got this you know from the high swing site. <laughs> you know what it is? What? We all look like it. <laughs> That's why. I said, well, I got a store, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. To white people, we all look like <laughs> I mean, they coming up talking about, oh, <laughs> Terrence, I love you. You know the high streets? Okay, I, yeah. I bought this from their store, yeah. and I wanted to give this to you as a gift. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, okay, thank you so much. They I, will bring you up to a uh, meet and greet. Yeah, right. they bring yeah, you up yeah. to yeah. 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 You yeah. guys, yeah. I love you, and I love the I high love, Hey, have y'all heard of Terrence? I love Terrence. <laughs> <laughs> love Terrence, man. I watch Terrence all the you time. You guys y'all. should get together. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, my sign fell. <laughs> Cheap ass podcast. Damn. <laughs> man, my sign fell. You get up. They get you got shit. such a strong voice. It was shaking the damn walls. I said, oh, cheap ass podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. You probably leave that shit. That shit funny as hell. Right. Yeah. We might as well. The best shit happened on my show is this cheap ass yeah, podcast. We, we, we just going to blur his face out. No, this is fine. You don't mm. have to fix it. Mm-hmm. We're going to keep it just like yeah, this. Keep it going, man. We gonna, we it gonna, makes it genuine. Yeah, yes, it does. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah my face just fell. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Uh, yeah, that's, yes, it's the ghetto podcast. <laughs> this is the ghetto podcast. You don't have to fix it, man. You're okay, we can fix it here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, we can fix this. <laughs> the wall's real, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, well, so why he fixing that? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, now, so you guys... So, how many shows have y'all done to date? Like, <laughs> Hundreds. Hundreds? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just this last year, we did what? Man, it was like over 120 shows we did yeah. last year. Wow. That's burnt out. Comedy tour? Yeah, I, wow. I'm burnt Overall, out. Overall, so. y'all probably done about 1,000 shows, right? Oh, yeah. I'm kind of burnt out. So, mm-hmm. what? what is the most interesting city of y'all, like city that y'all have been to? Like, um, you know, like yeah. you go to some of these shows, mm-hmm. you know, some like some cities are different, some crowds, mm-hmm. like... What's like? What's one of the like? Like what city? Like what? Like what city was? It like, had like the best crowd. I think like San ever. Antonio was really great. San Antonio is always great. San Antonio. Um, mm-hmm. Those California Dallas shows. Was, Dallas yeah. is great. Texas yeah. is great. The Texas shows are great. California. And California is great. great. And Florida's great. You yeah. know, a lot of people wouldn't think that California shows would be oh, great because everybody. Man. There's a lot of conservatives. Of, out. Yeah. Yeah. There's I'm surprised ton. how much they lose in elections by because, man, they really turn out out there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, we well we know 
why they losing sometimes. But yeah, you just can't say it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, yeah. what's one of the like, you know, you going out, you you going on, you going on a road, you going all to all these different cities. What place have y'all been to where it's like the most odd place? Like, I got fans here. Yeah. Like, oh, some of these rural areas, yeah. man, that we booked in, they that I've never heard of, and they show up. Yeah. I yeah. can't even remember the cities, man, because they, mm-hmm. they don't get up. But, you know, we like going to the rural cities because everybody always give all the love to the major cities. So we just, on our last tour, we go, went to a lot of rural areas. Yeah. Do, mm-hmm. do y'all get bigger crowds when y'all go to the rural areas? Yeah, we get some big crowds, but the bigger crowds is going to be in, like, Miami, yeah. uh, in the bigger in the metropolitan. Bigger, yeah. yeah. Now, do y'all have any groupies that come to all the shows? Yeah, we got this one guy. He he came to a lot of our shows. Yeah. Got meet and greet. And, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Y'all give him some free tickets. <laughs> no, no, he's I glad to buy him. Yeah, he's yeah. that dude. Support. You yeah. listen. I, there was this one guy. And he, you know, he came to quite a bit. Uh, he he came to to quite a few of my shows. Mm-hmm. Then he started coming out to eat without being invited. Like, mm-hmm. how did you know we were coming to this restaurant? <laughs> yeah. What, 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 what was his name? Huh? What's his name? I don't know his name. It is Stalker. But this dude showed up to the restaurant. Yeah. Not, I got the bill. What, hold on, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had a couple people show up to our house. For real? Yeah, yeah. which can be scary, you know. Like, the, like, did they threaten y'all? You come to your, where we are. No, they didn't threaten us. Just, no, no. They just, just, just want to tell you they're fan. That's some weird ass shit. Yeah. You gonna well, just you, pop up? Yeah. 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 That's crazy because people can just people can just get online yeah. and search your first and last name. I don't even know how it came up. I think it had something to do with my business license, but I've moved since then, so it's all good. Yeah, that's yeah. wow. Mm-hmm. People yeah. just like I know you like what is, like what does your wife say about stuff like that? Like my wife's like, my wife was it terrified my wife. Yeah, it's like what's wrong with these people? I said, well, I'm famous, yeah. <laughs> big fan. What's wrong with you? I'm a superstar. Show, show some respect for these people. <laughs> yeah. So do y'all do the meet and greets? Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, did uh, meet yeah. and greets. We had stopped doing because of COVID. Yeah. So. But uh, we start doing them at the end. Yeah, are yeah. like are the meet and greets fun? Oh, uh, they can be. Yeah. Some people are crazy and drunk. <laughs> yeah. 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 So you know, you know now, oh, like like when I'm doing the meet and greets, you know, yeah. I love everybody. I appreciate everybody for buying like meet, some of these like, people suck tickets. the life out of you though. <laughs> but like if there's like a long line, some people are like let me just I'll, let's let's pray for a moment. I'm like, well, there is a hundred people right yeah. that is waiting. Right. To take a picture. We're going to be all night and praying. This prayer has lasted like five minutes. <laughs> yeah. You know? So do the but math on that. 100 people uh, times five minutes. I do yeah. appreciate yeah. the prayer, but people yeah. back there are praying yeah. that they can finally get up on the stage <laughs> yeah. and, right. and take a photo. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 So, yeah, like, the, yeah. The actually, the uh, meet and greets can be um, a lot more more difficult than actual show because the show it yeah. moves by like an hour. Yeah. I mean, but I do appreciate the two people, yeah. you know, who do. Well, mm-hmm. Of course. Of yeah. course. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But those are people, your biggest fans. It, it's okay though. Some of them are inconsiderate. Yeah, you're bad like 15 minutes. And, uh-huh. Hey, you gotta go, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You always have some people. Not pay my money yeah. to see these guys. So like, so did a uh, 150 more people that's out there yeah. behind you. Uh huh. Yeah, you but know, those are your biggest call. fans though. Yeah. yeah, they're not even looking at from that point. Of, they have a, d- a totally different perspective. They don't understand it that there's other people that's big fans too that yeah. bought their tickets and yeah. they trying to go home to get to their kids right, and prepare exactly. for work tomorrow. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So y'all been on stage together. Like, does that make it easier to do comedy? And have y'all ever tried to do comedy separately? No, we never did it separately. We always wanted to do it together because yeah. nobody was doing that. Right. You always see people up there. So let's yeah. do it together. Yeah. You know. How was it your first time being in a, a big theater? Like it was different. Yeah. Because. Uh, Doing smaller venues, you you get instant. Yeah, uh, that's where I'm looking for. You get feedback. Yeah, feedback. Crowd right feedback. That crowd in a bigger theater, it takes a while for it to hit you. Y- yeah, yeah. So it's a it's like a delay when yeah. you get the laugh. I think comedy should. I don't think like comedy now, should be in big theaters. Now, now, uh, mm. did that make y'all nervous when when the laughs were like delayed? No, nah, I wouldn't say nervous. Um, you like damn, like this joke didn't work. Yeah, <laughs> no. Damn. Before we did a big theater, we was doing like comedy yeah. clubs. So you had a tent. You, you understand how what jokes is going to hit, what jokes is not. Or, or you got the feel for the joke, how people was going to react to it. So gotcha. it was just a delay. But yeah. I, before every show, we are always nervous mm-hmm. yeah. until you hear those first few. I'm laughs. still nervous every show. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh. I don't think that ever goes away. Oh, my stomach yeah. hurts. Oh yeah. man, I don't know if I can. Never do this. goes away. Oh, I'm like nervous. Been yeah. doing it for four years. But it you never know, goes but then away. when you go out there. 
Mm-hmm. You know, people can't tell that you're nervous or you were nervous. Yeah. You know, and to them, like, it's a great job. And, like, in, in, right. like in the, and even if you think you didn't do your mm-hmm. best, yeah. the crowd always think you did the greatest. Yeah. You know, like, I'm, yeah. I'm always nervous, especially when I don't get the laugh that I wanted. Right. You know, when they do that quick laugh, like, I was just talking to Bob Zaney. Right. Like, whenever, whenever they do that quick laugh, I'm like, oh, shit. They start laughing. Yes, that's the crowd, though. Uh, yeah. Some crowds are like a quick laugh. But, uh, uh. I, like like I was telling Bob, I was I was just talking to you on a podcast. Mm-hmm. I said I like those long laughs yeah. because that helps time pass by too. I'm like, keep a laugh. Y'all got five yeah. minutes, <laughs> uh, four minutes now. And y'all still laugh at that same joke. Right, right. All right, y'all. It was nice to see y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stand up comedy is yeah. tough, man. Yeah, uh-huh. it's tough. It, we have it easy because it's two of us. Yeah, we now can bounce off. Each yeah, other. now uh, mm-hmm. do y'all get hecklers? Oh, yeah. But they're not really hecklers. They're just trying to support you. Yeah, yeah. We haven't got anybody mean spirit or anything like that, just trying to disrupt the show. Right. They're just trying to show that that support to you. Yeah. But I haven't got like an angry heckler trying to disrupt the show. That's trying to come to one of our shows. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was Bakersfield. Bakersfield. And uh, that's when we first came out of the closet as being conservative. So she hadn't seen our newer content. Yeah. Yeah. We started saying some transgender jokes. She just lost it. And and our jokes is not a. It's, so, it's not offensive. They just what jokes have gotten y'all in trouble? Uh, I would say transgender. If you're joking about gay people, it, it rubs that community the wrong way. Yeah, it, and they get really offended easily. Now, what that. about before y'all started talking about conservatives? I mean, no. Mm-hmm. Well, before y'all started doing conservative I had, content, I always had black jokes, yeah. white jokes, gay yeah. jokes. But people were okay with y'all's jokes be- before y'all started. Yeah, right. But once you become conservative, conservative it's so different. it's like it yeah. was okay mm-hmm. when you thought I was a liberal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was fine. Mm-hmm. I'm allowed to to joke about those things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But now that I'm, but now that you know that I vote red, yeah, I'm yeah. no, I can't talk about. Yeah. Now red. I got like a racist stigma yeah. hanging over my yeah. head because I'm a Trump supporter. Yeah. 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 I did notice that difference. I noticed the difference in that crowd and everything, and the bad press we was getting. Yeah. We had like how many shows canceled? I like four or five. Four or five. They y'all even wrote up something in they, a sentence. They, they had canceled. They had canceled the shows because y'all talked about transgenders. Mm-hmm. Did, yeah. did y'all ever apologize? There was nothing to apologize. Everything but, was true. <laughs> it's a joke. The crazy thing is, yeah. I made jokes about white people. Yeah. I made jokes about black people. Have y'all ever thought about <laughs> tra- transitioning? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Never twins. crossed my mind. <laughs> the trans sisters. The I'm trans not, twins. Yeah. Like, what's that? What's yeah, that? Yeah, we're that, some dog? damn good what? trans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a good trans. <laughs> what's that? People yeah. putting on I'm a uh, damn costumes good lady. like wolves and, and dogs. <laughs> What oh, they call them furries? I might do some furry action, but I ain't doing this <laughs> transgender action. <laughs> have you heard about that? Yeah, furries? yeah, I have. I, dress I up act- like animals. Yeah, yeah uh huh. Yeah, actually, I made a video. I was a reaction video. This woman, she was pretending. To, uh, well, I say pretending, mm-hmm. but she identified as a cat. Yeah. Oh, I remember that video. Yeah. She identified as a cat, and she told me, "This is how we talk when we're in heat." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bitch, crazy. I, 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 I didn't want to say that. Damn. See, I'm trying to keep this show family friendly. I don't want to. But yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's in my cool, head. no. I if you like, role playing, but if you actually think you a cat, yeah. You talking yeah. about this is how we talk when we are in heat? Are you fucking crazy? Yeah. I did a bit you, about you, a you. girl pretending to be a dog. She's going. <laughs> remember that video we did? Yeah. On? She like acting like a dog. Yeah. It's nothing wrong with role playing, but the problem comes is when you actually think you a dog. Or yeah, a cat. that's that that's literally mental illness. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's exactly mental what illness. it is. Exactly what it is. Like you are not a dog, you are not a cat. Mm-hmm. I think it's mental illness when you think you were born in the wrong body. You were not born in the wrong it's, body. It's definitely something going on. There's upstairs. something going on. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It, it's some some something ain't clicking. Yeah, you know something, something ain't is, firing off. Yeah, something something is not firing off. Misfiring. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, we try to accommodate these people, but like they they yeah. they. You can't please them. They always yeah. you'll never be able to please them. So, do y'all got any um, uh, big projects coming up? Um, just working on uh, trying to get out, get out in in front of as many people as possible with the uh, politics and yeah. with our channels, and have just trying to focus about, on trying to change some. Have people. y'all ever thought about running for office? Yeah, yeah, we I, thought about it. I I, I bet mm-hmm. a lot of y'all fans ask y'all to run for office. Too, oh right? yeah, every every yeah. Q and A at our um, show, <laughs> hey y'all run for office. <laughs> yeah, I, I tell them the same night. I, I tell them every time. I say, well, I need to get my money up because I got a lot of people I got to pay off. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all see Trump here. I, yeah. I need to get some Trump money. Because Keith, you threw a transgender out your car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah a lot of people to pay off. Yeah, yeah. So y'all been considering it, though? 
Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. definitely. Yeah. So it could happen. It yeah, could it happen. definitely could happen. Yeah. Congress, what? I'm thinking like governor. Governor. Mm -hmm. Governor mm -hmm. or what? Governor or senator. Governor, yeah. what state? I don't well, know. Right I, now, we live in Nevada. Yeah. yeah. But I, I might move to either. I love Texas, Tennessee, Florida. I'm originally from Virginia. I wouldn't say I wouldn't go back mm. to Virginia, but one state I never go back is California. That's just that's yeah, just dumb. Yeah, we gonna make this a damn good state. <laughs> state, <Go ahead. laughs> yeah. ain't no way in hell I'm gonna become governor in California. The, them Democrats is not gonna let that happen. <laughs> yeah, we gonna make this a damn good state. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna make this state damn good again. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it now. I will vote for y'all. Yeah, I would. I, I'm not. I would never move to to the state. I will illegally vote for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna yeah. do that liberal shit. I would illegally vote <laughs> just, for y'all. Just send in a mail in ballot. <laughs> I will send I have my whole family in Oklahoma to send in a mail in ballot. <laughs> yeah. I, I will Get make you a sure. damn address off of Google. <laughs> address off of Google, right, yeah. yeah. So when is the book coming out? I, I always said y'all gotta do a book. Yeah, yeah. We've been y'all gotta do a book. We're we gonna ideas. have some um in the works later this year. Y'all gotta I've do a book. I've been putting some ideas out there. Okay, mm -hmm, yeah. I gotta do a book. Mm -hmm. Well, man, I really appreciate y'all for coming on the show. Well, thank oh, you, thank man. you for having us. I, man. You know, I I, I want to go longer, but this this poster might fall again. Yeah, yeah. shit, you got about and, five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> and and then I might the bill may get higher. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. can barely afford this poster. <laughs> yeah, so I have to end this video yeah, because, this of, finan because of financial reasons. Mm -hmm. I have to end this video yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Y'all, yeah. y'all probably already follow the Hodge twins because y'all come to my show talking about them. Yeah. So you already know where to follow them. Right. So follow me. <laughs> 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 you can find me <laughs> on TerrenceKWilliams.com. Y'all yeah. follow the Hodge twins too. Thank you. Thank y'all for coming on, man. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. <laughs>